Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to pay homage to the Alabama Freedom Fighters. These men and women came in defense of our good brother Damian Pickett, co-captain and deckhand, to finish his good work on the docks of Alabama. This week has been one heck of a ride with the news, the memes, the jokes, and the conversation around black people finally fighting back. This was one situation where black people did not just sit and film, but flew into action. It started with Damien Pickett and other deckhands asking a private pontoon boat to move so a dinner cruise, the Harriet too, yes, the Harriet, can dock. The people who owned the boat not only ignored them, but later on berated them and threatened Mr. Pickett and then ended up attacking him. That's the video we see circulation, circulating where he's trying to reason with them. And because he's asked them several times, he's getting frustrated. At this point, instead of just moving their boat, they jump him. This is where our story starts. The co-captain, Mr. Damian Pickett, black male, and a 16-year-old white male juvenile who was struck by the owners and operators of the private boat. The suspects thus far have been identified as Richard Roberts, white male, 48 years old, with two outstanding warrants for assault, third degree. Alan Todd, white male, 23 years old, one warrant for assault, third degree. And Zachary Shipman, white male, 25 years old, uh, one warrant for assault, third degree. We have instructed those individuals to turn themselves into law enforcement and ask uh, at this time, uh, one is secured and in custody. The other two are set to turn themselves in within the next hour. All I know is these people got what was coming to them. Not only was he attacked for doing his job, but they really felt that entitled that they got enraged at being asked to move their boat. At this point, Mr. Pickett threw up his hat like Bobby Shmurda, and it was on like Donkey Kong. This was also not the first time that they had trouble with this group. They've had trouble with them in the past. They apparently come every year. Okay? So at this point, all hell breaks loose. Namor, a.k.a. Aquaman, jumps into the water and comes to his aid. Then the Avengers all come to help. Then Thanos came with the folding chair and was snapping people out of existence. It was a full-out brawl by then. Now you might be asking, what happened to our good brothers and sisters and Thanos? Well... Thanos was arrested. But come on, they're not the ones who started this. Don't get me wrong, Thanos will most likely be charged because you know, the law. But he will be taking one for the team and the movement. The boat full of drunk white people is where the trouble lies. Three of those men were arrested as of now, as well as a woman who literally kicked Mr. Pickett while he was down, okay? She's also been arrested. This could have all been avoided had they just complied because alcohol and racism do not mix. So basically the drunk white people on that boat who should have moved it, they get the shake my head award nomination for August. Now we've been cracking jokes and making memes and this has kept me laughing all week, but make no mistake. People are also discussing how this can affect the black community going forward and the way we show up for each other. And that's important too. So let's keep laughing and talking. And in the meantime, those unruly owners of the boat, we're going to see them at the end of the year for our annual Shake My Head Award nomination.